Widow burning is a Hindu practice in which a widow sacrifices herself by sitting on top of the deceased husband's funeral pyre. The woman is then burnt alive with her husband's corpse and is blocked from escaping by the attendees of the funeral. The origins of the practice is complicated and goes back a long time to 1400 BC when the Indo-Europeans invaded Europe and modern day India. The Indo-Europeans had a symbolic co-cremation ceremony of a man and a woman in which the wife would lay on her dead husband then get up and leave before he was burnt. When the Indo-Europeans mixed with the North Indians, this practice was taken on by the locals and remained at symbolic. Over time, the symbolic became real, with women actually being burnt, many times voluntarily as they were forbidden from finding husbands after the death of their current husband. By the 7th century, the practice was fairly well established and the arrival of the Muslim conquest of India only served to intensify the situation. The Muslim invaders were brutal towards the Hindus, with the women being taken as sex slaves once the men had been slaughtered. To avoid this fate, the Hindu women would commit mass suicide many times with their children once the men were dead. This lasted for centuries, with the Muslim genocide of the Hindus being one of the worst in the whole of human history, and the practice of widow burning became more and more normalised. By the time of the Muslim Mughal Empire that ran from 1526 to 1857, widow burning was commonplace. The Mughal leaders had differing views of the practice with some admiring it and others finding it distasteful. In 1663, Muslims began to partake in the practice in the area of Kashmir. The Mughal leader at the time declared, in all lands under Mughal control, never again should the officials allow a woman to be burnt. After this, widow burning declined in northern India, but some rich Indians would bribe officials to allow them to burn women alive. When the British arrived in India, the custom was still alive and being practiced more due to the Indians beating back the Mughals. The British declared India part of the empire and outlawed widow burning. The British enforced the law harshly and the practice was all but stamped out. Widow burning does still take place in India, but is very rare. Between 1943 and 1987, 30 cases were reported in the whole of India and most Indians frown upon the practice. Widow burning has taken many forms over the years, from children being buried alive to women being drugged and burnt alive. It has to be said that a lot of the women that have died due to widow burning seem to have been willing participants. Like, subscribe.